And now honoring one of the city's bravest, Chopper 2 is over the funeral for firefighter William Moon, who died in a training accident. The service taking place in Bayshore, Long Island, not far from Moon's hometown of East Islip. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is live outside the church which, with more on the funeral. Hannah, good afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, good afternoon, Jenna and Natalie. If you look behind me, you can see there are dozens of firefighters, members of the FDNY, walking into this church right now to join Moon's family. You can see right there the family just walked inside. But people who knew him both personally and professionally are remembering just how passionate he was about his career, calling him one of the best firefighters in the whole department. It's a mournful day. You see the hundreds of people packing the pews of this church. Mayor Eric Adams and Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh joined the many people who came to honor him, to thank him for his 21 years of service to the FDNY, and to try to console his family, which now has to go on without him. After a wake held in East Islip yesterday, a hearse carrying Moon's casket was transported from the funeral home to the church this morning. Moon lived on Long Island but worked in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. His love for firefighting was evident. He became a volunteer firefighter at the age of 19 and spent decades of his life trying to protect people. When he was critically injured on the job, his family decided to donate his organs to allow him to save lives even in death. His family, including his young children, are expected to deliver eulogies. Today, many who came to remember him say it's a continuation of his legacy of service. Moon comes from a family of firefighters, including his cousin and his father. He leaves behind a wife and two young children. Moon was 47 years old. We're live in Bayshore, Long Island. Hannah Klieger, CBS2 News. Hannah, thank you. And we have continuing coverage of the final goodbye to New York Fire Fire William Moon. And if you would like to continue watching this funeral, we are streaming it on our website at CBS2 New York.